Okay, let's take a look at the backup and how to take it out of the bag and use it. When you get it out of the bag, you'll find you've got this product cover, but the product cover is holding on two plastic inserts. You do not want to lose those. This will come off and you'll find that these plastic knee, knee inserts need to be set aside someplace. You can put them on the ground wherever you are. Now what you have is a little bag. What you want to do is just take and open this up. And when you open up, you're going to find the usual things. You have a little moisture stuff. You dispose of that appropriately. Make sure your dogs don't eat it or your kids. Now what you're going to do when you open this up is you're going to find two loops and a backrest. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that this knee pad gets centered on the loop. Two loops and a knee pad. Next, what you want to do is just take and put this right over the center of the low back. Make sure your buckles are on the top strap. Very important that the buckles are on the top strap. Then you sit down, drop them over your knees, center them right on the shin bone. And what you want to do here is take and lift these up. If it's too tight, lift up and loosen them out. Next, you just take and slide the two buckles, clip it together. Then take both of these on either side, lean forward, tighten up, and you'll find out that it is absolutely perfectly straight. You can lean back and you'll never have any kind of give in that low back. If it's too tight, you loosen it up, you'll find you'll fall back. If you want to hyperextend, lean forward, tighten up a lot, and you can arch your back and get that really good curve in your low back. That's good to do once in a while, maybe one or two minutes. If you've got a good healthy back, it just helps stretch it out. Now on the sides here, you have these belts. These break away, tear, and these come across the waist. Again, tear, these come across the waist. And this is the way you use it to keep it on the waist when you stand up and you go get a cup of coffee or whatever else. Then we sit down again, just take your hands, drop them over, and you're in place again. No problem. Now these two knee guards, they're made with a narrow pad and a heavy pad on the bottom. Think weight. Just think weight. The light one goes on top on both sides. What you want to do when you want to use them is you just take the knee pad off, open up the belt loop sufficiently so you can drop this right in place and then it'll lock in place on one side and then you let it in, it's going to lock in place. This then drops over the shin bone and helps you disperse pressure over five inches on the shin. Okay, well this is the most common way to use it. Typically when you're sitting at computers or you're sitting at ball games, it just allows you to have perfect backrest, uses your knees. Now, what happens if you go camping or you're sitting on the ground meditating? This is actually the most comfortable way to use the product. So I'll show you how this one works. You just slide yourself on the ground. Now when you sit this way, you unhook the knee clip or the leg clips, because you won't need them anymore. Those are just to keep your legs from splaying. What you want to do here is just take, and again, position them right on the shin bones, grab both straps at the same time, lean forward, and just tighten. You can do them both at once if you want. Tighten them up, and you'll find out you've got perfect, absolute straight back, and there's no effort at all allows you to sit comfortably for hours. So to get out of this, you just take the waistband off. You can put it back. Push your button. It pops off. Take them off. Now what you can do is carry this. It's very easy to carry. What you want to do is just start the zipper like you would any bag. Zip one side. Roll everything away from the zipper. Make sure everything is clear from the zipper the second side. And now you've got yourself a little carry pouch. Take the two Velcro straps and put them back on the Velcro tabs for them. And you've got your carry bag. Now what you want to do is just take the straps and just stuff them inside. What I do is I try and nest 
the two pads together if you're going to keep them on and you can fit them in as well. It isn't too difficult to find this all fits inside. And now you've got a little carry case that weighs about, about a pound and it'll take you, go with you everywhere. What you've seen in terms of instructions for the backup goes exactly for the companion version, the sport backer. The only things the sport backer does not have is the extra knee cushions and the back pad is a little bit narrower, but the function is identical in both of these, the backup and the sport backer products.